He was one of the last of his generation. His body flown from Jordan, an Iraqi honor guard welcomed him home one last time. Like many Iraqis, Muhammad Ghani left after 2003 when Iraq turned dangerous. Educated in Rome and known around the Arab world, he could have lived anywhere. But Baghdad was home and fellow artists were like family. We will always remember that skinny body that held the soul of a giant. He cannot be forgotten because we will see him in every meter in Baghdad, in his work which decorated the map of a nation. He came back last October for the first time in six years, and he was greeted as a returning hero. His sculptures from 1001 Nights, including Kahramana and the 40 Thieves, are Baghdad landmarks. His work was in all sorts of places, including this church in New Baghdad that he hadn't seen for years. Her hair is, her is very Majdaliya with her hair. Look, come here, this is interesting. Look. At 82, he'd just completed four new statues, including this one to be erected in the center of the city. I present the city of Baghdad as a nice, beautiful woman. Not be beautiful as a face only, but she's proud. Sitting in this way and looking like this, she's Baghdad. His influence inspired generations of Iraqi artists. Here at the National Art Museum before the war, there was an entire hall devoted to Mohammed Ghani's work. More than 100 pieces bronze, plaster, and wooden statues, reliefs, even doors. This is all that's left. Nine pieces, some of them in fragments. Uh, I feel sorry and sad for two things, that we, we uh, lost him and we lost his artworks and it was looted after the events of 2003. But this bronze statue, the heroine of 1001 Nights, has weathered three wars she presides over the street life coming back to the riverside, part of the soul of Baghdad that Mohammed Ghani loved. Jane Araf, Al Jazeera, Baghdad.